Mods are here, and there is no way to say this without saying 44. We got 44 mods today. We got a couple maps. We got tractors. We got a go kart. We got Christmas decorations. It's a good day today. All platforms got 19 new and 21 updates. PC Mac players got three new and one update. We are not going to mess about. We are looking at every new mod plus customization. We'll show you how some things work, and we review every mod that got an update. Mods in this video get as much time as they do in previous videos. So sit back, relax, check the timestamps, and uh, let's rock and roll. Starting off today with new ones for all platforms who have Mason County from Poor Boy Modding. This is a very neat and super unique map. It's super unique. I got to show you guys the PDA just to be able to showcase all of it. So we have massive amounts of logging in the middle. We have a uh, an area, I think it's right over here. Yeah, right over here. You can buy that. That is just all rocks. And you can dig them up with excavators, wheel loaders, things like that. Super cool. We've got a lot of different sized uh, things like here. So you could use the pivots from Hispanic modding if you want to in those fields. And then we've got a bunch of other just uh, non-worker friendly, but probably would still work okay if you did it the right way fields and some of these are purchasable individually some of them you buy two or four at a time so you can see lots of really neat stuff with this he's also got plenty of custom things as well so if we come in and check a look check a look take a look at the prices we've got corn straw compost soybean straw alfalfa alfalfa hay black bean peas asphalt coal dirt gravel sand uh we also have iron ore which i think we've already had we also have pay dirt crude oil kerosene tar tires cement stone powder limestone uh, bark asphalt pallets cement pallet charcoal empty pallets drum barrel corn oil a uh, pipe sawdust gold gold bars pioneer pellet trash can plywood glue glue pallet household we also have junk car dry lumber nails new tire rubber outhouse are you getting the idea you get the idea? There's so much stuff through here. You can make a, a, a car if you want. Yeah, <laughs> They're, they don't sell for too much, but you can make a car if you want to. There's just so much stuff to this map. It is like production haven in here. Now, Poor Boy Modding released a video, I think like a month or two ago, on his YouTube channel, showing off how to make everything and how it all works. And uh, of course, I'm not going to have that much time in this single video, but it is there if you guys want to watch it and check it out. He's also mentioned one thing to me. He says the outhouse production may not spawn out the product. He has fixed this, but Giants tested the map pretty quickly and released it before he was able to upload the fix to that. So if you guys are making outhouses, just know it may not work right now but that update is with giants awaiting the testing now let's take a look at what we get in new farmer mode we got our john Deere 7810 we also have a nice harvester we've got our pickup truck and a tipper header for that and we also have the header trailer down there we have a uh, starting cedar we have a front mower as well as a forge wagon four story equipment we've got a trailer and then we have a front loader with a bucket so you get basically the bare minimum to start working uh what do we get in new farmer mode that i'm really curious about okay so we get areas over here uh, we get farmland number 20 we also get 24 and 9 here so it's a little bit of the water and then we have uh, field 36 right there. So not a whole lot. We've got a small little area here with all of our stuff. And one other thing, there's that's a waterfall. I love waterfalls. Ooh, let's go behind the waterfall. Oh, that's so cool. Next, we have another very cool map. This is Four Fields from Omatana. This is a map that we did a video on what feels like two or three months ago at this point, and it is finally here for all platforms. As the name suggests, there are four humongous fields ready to go for you guys. There are four farms and every single production chain you could possibly imagine, even new greenhouses or garden, I guess. And we've got our vineyards over here. So starting off, we have the main farm itself. This is your PDA. Uh, fairly simple. Uh, by the way, yeah, you could buy all four of them and then plow them together, making, I believe, the largest easily accessible field in the game. Down here, this is farmland number one. As we make our way around, we have all kinds of other different things, production chains. We have the store all the way over here, so I'm uh, not too far away from you. So that makes things nice and easy. We've got more farms, more um, buildings, more productions, things like that. So you got a farm there, you got a farm here, 
You've also got a farm over here, and then finally your other farm, which is down there. Uh, little bits and pieces in between, and everything you could possibly imagine and want, you have it available to you on one map. Now, the cool thing is, as you can see, we have kind of like an American styling with these buildings and things like that. But the map has a secret, because if you don't want American styling, you can do the German styling version. And here's what that one looks like. Again, it is uh, the exact same all the way around, with the exception of the styling on the buildings, which are all, uh, I'd say, German or European, that type of thing. Coming through here, you can see the buildings and the houses are different. They are not the same. And we even have a different building here on the left-hand side for the supermarket. This has got a place to play on it. I want that. <laughs> As the European would get that one. Nonetheless, we also have some custom production chains. I don't know if we start with them. Yeah, yeah, we do. So, uh, Cal Farm Farm Production. This is quite literally everything that you could think of all in one. We also have a little bit extra. So, we have mixed bread, uh, spelled the bread, bread roll, baguette, muffins. Uh, let's see. Is there any other custom stuff in here? French fries and premium potatoes. We also have all kinds of TMR stuff, farm supply, that way you could create different things through there. Uh, but those are all things for your main farm. Nonetheless, uh, there you go. That is the map for fields and uh, two different maps, depending on what you want to do. Uh, but they are both, um, well, you, they start exactly the same. Next new one for all platforms is going to be the T9 series from AT Farms and Carl Farms. This is actually not in the New Holland category. This is in its own little T9 world. There's also a T7. I don't know when that released, but hey, it's there. We got 517 horsepower on here with a variable transmission, 1162 liters of fuel. It goes 24 miles an hour. We have 30 tons. So if you need to do some silage, this may be a great option for you. Engines, we have the 517. We go with a 550 or a 605, a 638, a 682, and a 776. Oh my goodness. So much power. Wheel brands, we have the New Holland. We also have a Michelin tire, Continental tire, Midas, Lizard. We got the LSWs on there. And then our New Hollands. Now, I'm curious to see kind of what all we get in here. We've got a, a set of big duels. We've got some standard duels. We have some big trips and standard trips. Let's see. I imagine Continental's probably going to be very similar. Do we get big trips? Nah, just singles on there and duels. Midas, I'm guessing we've got duels as well here. No trips? Yeah, no triples there. Ooh, those are chunky boys. And then we go into our LSWs. Give me some LSW duels. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. And then we've got our smart tracks. We also have the smart track with a higher idler on the very front and back and forth. So you've got all of that. Front options. We have a standard front option. We have a weight bracket. Then we can add 1,000 pounds or 2,200 pounds to that. Uh, that's going to be going from, let's see, 30.2 tons, 33.5, and 34 tons so not a whole lot but it's still some extra weight in the front windows we have standard lighter tent medium and dark exhaust we have standard and a rain cap if you guys want to go with that beacon light options we have quite a few different sets through those we even have the globes we don't see those too often but that's really cool to see and number six we have the led flash that's awesome uh, attachments we have the uh Weight bracket, is this going to be on the back? Yeah, so we can add some extra weight on the back, like 1,400 or 2,800 pounds. And then we have a really nice quick hitch on there. So your standard's just going to be a regular trailer hitch, and then you have to go with that quick hitch if you want the three-point on the back. I know some of you guys like it, and some of you don't. So there you go. Let's go and lease one of these, and I do want to jump in it and see what we can do. Let's see. So we have toggle. Yeah, so nothing. But... Tell you what, it gets up and moves though. Let's go. And that little derby car, you'll see that later in the video. Next, we have the Lizard Conquito P50, also known as the Pill P50. 50 horsepower on here, which seems like a lot, almost too much for this kind of car. Variable transmission, 120 liters of fuel, 31 miles an hour, and it weighs a little bit more than half a ton. So yeah, uh, we have an engine setup of the 50. We can also do a 250 and a 2100. What? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, that's going to be interesting. Wheel options. We have Continental, BKT, Michelin, Midas, and Nokia tires on there. We could do an original rim. 
We also have a couple different options through there. Uh, since we have a 2100 horsepower, let's go with a low rider looking tires. Uh, window tinting, we have 0, 25, 75, and 100. So uh, visibly impossible to see out. I think maybe they meant 0, 25, 50, and 75. Uh, rear hitch, we have yes or no. Definitely going yes on that. Main color, all of the above. How about Tiffany, aka Toothpaste Tractor? Central Stripe, let's go with a oof that looks really bad green. And then rim color, because we can. Polished. No, chrome. Where's chrome? Stainless steel, chrome perfection. <laughs> we also have a license plate if you need that. Let's jump in it. Let's see all the stupid stuff that we could do with this. Uh, do we have toggle work? Nah, nothing, actually. So this says it'll go 124 miles per hour. So let's see how truthful that is and how well it handles itself at such speed. Uh, already going way faster than this thing should ever go. You can see it's slowly creeping to the right of the screen. It can't keep the camera, can't keep up with it. Uh, I have used the Pill P50 in Forza Horizon uh, quite a bit. Holy cow, made it up to 124 miles an hour and I didn't even realize it. This drives way too good. Like nice, smooth, you could steer well with it. For weighing only 600 kg, this is... I mean, it's not bad. Let's see if we can spin it out. I can't spin it out, but I did... I did get stuck in the map. Yeah. Oh, I can't get it out. Please? Uh-oh. I broke it. Next, we have something with an incredibly long name. Skid Steer Forestry, New Holland, L330, and C362 Pack. It's like an Amazon listing or a Wish.com listing. <laughs> uh, at the end of the day, it's very similar. We, we, we've got a wheeled version. We have a, a track version of this. We do have a couple versions of this exact mod already, but uh, I guess this is their take on it. So we have a uh, trailer board. Minus Vredestein, we also have some different bigger wheels, which is very nice. Uh, doors and windows, we have standard. We can do, uh, they say Insufilm, but that's just darkening. Working lights, we have yes or no on the very front. Beacon lights on the very back. Oh, okay, right on the top. Main color, all of the above. Holy cow, that is a lot. Let's go with a metal pink design color. Let's go with a... Okay, yeah, yellow's fine. Rim color, let's go with a... Why'd you do blue? And then there you go. It's not the prettiest thing on earth, but it does work. And then we have the exact same stuff over here, minus a lot of the color options for the six or three, six, two rather. So same thing for the windows, same thing for the working light, same thing for the beacon. And then the main color itself, uh, that just does the entire body on there. Now, of course we have up and down motions through there. We do have a separate motion here for a lap bar, which goes straight through my leg or my arms <laughs> but that is very very cool i don't know if i've seen that on anything else uh being somebody who's used these a couple times in real life it's very neat that they have added that so super cool next up probably one of the mods you guys are here to see the valmetal max track duratech from custom modding it is here and everything that goes along with it is as well we have all six holy cow six of the takers is 17.2 thousand 21.5 23.6 28 36.3 a 38.6 thousand liters these things are absolutely insane i remember seeing first screenshots what like a year ago showing this off and it's finally here uh will brands bring us michelin we also have trelleborg Redestein and back in. Can we change any of those up? We cannot. Power boom transfer system. Yes and no. Grown flow meter control. Yes or no. Beacon lighting. Yes or no there. Extension. Yes or no for the very back. Automatic greasing system. You can do a yes or no. Uh, however, this really doesn't matter. Attachments. We have the level lift injector. That's going to be for one of the attachments. And then we've got orange, red, and gray for the main color. Design color on the very bottom. Same thing. And then we have our license plate. Now it's going to be the same for all of the tankers. So just choose the one with the capacity that you need. Then we have our ways of getting the slurry out. 
Verse 1 is the high diffuser, 8.2 meters at 9 miles an hour. We do have our different color options for this, and you will have to uh, get it behind and lift it up with your palette. I don't think you could just back straight up to it. Then we have a single lower spray system, 8.2 meters at 9 miles an hour. We've got a, a double lower spray, 12 meters at 9 miles an hour. And then the big buoy right here, this is the extended low sprayer, 16 meters at 9 miles an hour. We also have the manure injector of Gen 3 and Gen 4, which are very, very different from each other, but in the game they work exactly the same, so you could save yourself 2900 bucks if you want to. 7 meters at 9 miles per hour. Uh, that is also a cultivator, so it will cultivate fields and inject the slurry all at the same time. So let's take a quick look at these, because I'm sure that most of you guys are a little bit curious, to say the least. So. Let's just start with uh, the first set of attachments here. We're gonna back up and we've gone for uh, not all the stuff in the back. Actually, I've got the wrong attachment for the red one. We'll go over that later. Now, I don't know if they've changed this. However, in our preview versions, you could not just back up to these and attach them. And it looks like that is the exact same case now. So what you will need is something with a pallet fork. So you can use front loader, uh, you can use something like this. I like the Kubota skid steer because I like driving it around. It makes me happy. Do we have a lap bar in here? There is a lap bar, you just can't control it. Wait, yeah, no, can't control it. All right, well, whatever, who cares? Let's come over here and then let's grab a hold of this. You may be able to see kind of where I'm going with this. You have to pick it up. So, get it right here, right about in there, that'll work. We'll grab that, and then we need to lift it, I believe, to that point right at the top. So we'll lift that up, and then get it about right here-ish. That should do. And then we have our attachment, it says attach, we will click it, and we're good. It kind of pops a little bit, but that's okay. Now for detaching, so it's, it's a, well, it's not very, you get it. <laughs> no, I think there's a couple of these that you don't actually need to do that with. I think the height is probably okay. This one looks like it's close-ish, uh, but that ain't gonna work. However, I think this one might actually do the trick here. Back up to it, nice and easy. The wheels turn, whether you're going forwards or backwards, so. Yeah, yeah. so uh, the largest one, you don't need to pick it up. So that may be a good reason to get it. Now for this version, you do need those attaching arms in the very back, but they will hook up and you can unfold and inject your slurry into the ground. There you go, rock and roll. Do what you need to do, have some fun. And you can detach everything as needed. So it's a very cool modular system. Just make sure you got the parts that you need. Moving on, we have the Kroger AgriLiner TMR 34. This is a very beautiful trailer right here. 50,000 liter capacity. So a huge capacity right off the bat. It weighs 10 tons by itself. Wheel brands, we have mm, Trelleborg. What's the best way to look at this? I guess right here. Trelleborg, what way does it start? Yeah, that'll work. Trelleborg, BKT, <laughs> Lizard, which are huge. Vredestein and back it again. Uh, we can change the Vredesteins up to a different design if you want to. And we are going to go with Lizard because those are beautiful. Now, design. We have ladder plus an attachment. We have just the ladder and the ladder with the attachment at the very front. Design. We have galvanized. We can also do a checker plated. Checker plated. Let's go. Cover. Yes or no. Come on. You want the cover. It's a good looking cover. Uh, we also have chassis color. All of the above. I was not expecting this. Let's go John Deere. Let's go John Deere. Design color. Here, we'll go John Deere with this as well, even though it's still green. Ha, you can change it up. You know what? Let's go yellow. Why not? Then rim colors. Oh, can't do what we want to there. That's okay. We've got a couple rim colors, and then we have our license plate. This is very neat. Do we have a second attachment on the back? We don't. I wouldn't expect that anyway. It's a huge trailer. I am going to do a quick check, though, because this does look like a semi-truck. I wonder if the dolly is permanently attached or not. So we're going to find that out very quickly with the MAN truck. Uh, yeah, the dolly looks to be permanently 
attached. So there is that. Ooh, the cover animation down. That's what I'm talking about. Next up, we've got some 40 modding mods that released today. The first one is the Lizard 14T dump trailer. Absolutely beautiful. 10.5 thousand liter capacity. Body type, we have a standard on there. We could do a swinging door on the very back if you want to. Or you could do no door at all. Still have that capacity, which is super cool. We got wooden extensions that bring us up to 12,000 liters if we want with all the same options around towards the back. Let's go swing and door. Wheel options, Continental. We also have Midas, Michelin, Trelleborg, BKT, Bredestein, and Nokia Tigers. Very good looking through there. Mud flap options. We have standard. We can have the front, the back, both, and then uh, small and large. So that works great. Decal options. We've got the uh, first set. And then option number three. I'm trying to figure out the difference between option one and three. Mm, nothing on the side. Nothing around towards the back. I'm not quite sure what the difference is between one and three. Hey, if you know, let me know. Designs on here. We do have added chassis siding lights on the front. Uh, front body side lights. So those are going to be kind of, I don't know if you call them chicken lights, but just uh, warning markers on the side. And you can do all of those if you want to. Body color. All of the above. Uh, let's see if there's any fun color names. Cyan Juice Green. Give it to Juice. Uh, we've got a very beautiful but kind of oofy blue. Yeah, there you go. And then we'll go with Chrome Wheels. It's really cool they gave it the option to do whatever you want with it. That's not it because we also got their 3,500 gallon tanker on here. So we have that too. 15,900 liter capacity. That's going to be for slurry, digestate, uh, and showing water there as well. However, I think it's showing water because I had the manure system mod installed. Yeah, it is what it is. Uh, wheel brands on here. We have BKT. We also have a Michelin, Midas, Bredestein, and Nokia Tires. We also had a Trelleborg on there. Let's go with big chunky BKTs. Optional extras. We have a left crash bar, right crash bar, and both. We could do a ladder, which I think pops on this side. Yeah, side lights. Crush bar with the ladder. We could do those or none of the above. Customer registration plate. So on the very back, we have no registration. Um, that's going to be your American uh, thing. It's kind of hanging off the side a little bit. Uh, we also have stuff that you could throw on top of that. Uh, so a lot of different places. 40 modding are known for having lots of different setups for their plates. So you could do those if you want to. However, um, let's say, oh, they keep going, huh? They just keep going. I think I'm going to have to back out just to get to that point. So yeah, you can do registration plates if you want to, but you're not going to be able to customize them, unfortunately. LED beacons, no beacons at all. We have uh, rear working lights, left square beacon, right square beacon, both. And then we have a conical and an LED. Ooh, orange. Anyway, we also have clear and then nothing. Uh, go with clear. Looks great. Fill hose options. We have standard. We have the lower left hanging, lower right hanging, and then higher left, higher right, both lower, both high. And then we have a hose carrier on the left, hose carrier on the right, both sides. And then we have the lower hose with the hose on there. And then the same thing on the other side, up high, up low. Uh, it's just... It just keeps going around, man. There's so many options. We don't need this many options, but it's, so, it's still going around. Oh, my goodness. Finally back to standard. Oh, my goodness. Uh, filler options. We have standard. We have the sign fill. And then we have the rear fill, which pops up there on the left-hand side. Uh, we have both of those or back to standard again. Fill arm on the side. We have fill arm side and then standard. Braking options. We have added ABS brakes or nothing. Go with the added ABS. You will thank me. Toolbox options. We've got an added toolbox. Usually that's over here. And there it is. Front decal. We have standard. We have the old decal. And back and forth between those. Top fill hatch. We have that if you want to do that. That's pretty cool. Uh, spreader system. We have a splash plate, which is going to give us a nine and a half meter spread. And we have the LED dr LED lizard dribble bar attachment. Um, that's going to be a nine, well, it says 9.5 meter, but it's whatever your dribble bar is. And then we also have the ring gun. This is also a 9.5 option. And then we have the, uh, oi, uh, the boom tanker, still 9.5 ejector which is probably what most of you guys are going to go for at least right now uh, and then transport tanker so it just transports things and back to your splash plate main color we've got all of the above on your fill hose we have all of the above rim colors all of the above 
and your license plate. Goodness God, did I really spend three and a half minutes just on this mod? This next pack confuses me a little bit. So this is the Crescetto CMR pack, just more Crescetto trailers. Most all of these have the same customization, um, minus a few of them. For example, uh, right here, I don't believe has a uh, top on the smallest one. However, on this one, we do have a uh, top uh somewhere through here <laughs> yeah so let's just go over the biggest one but the elephant in the room it says nine meter worker with the 37 miles an hour however there are no customization options for a manure or fertilizer spreader on any of these leading me to believe that i think they probably copied something and just did it the wrong way i, I have no idea maybe that's the length of the, the trailer, something wasn't done right and it's very confusing, it does not translate into the game. I think that part needs to be removed. Uh, so tons of customization here. We have different side heights with different capacities. So this one's 42 to 49,000 liter with uh, two meter and 1.6 and 1.8 and stuff, everything in between with the extensions on there. Every single trailer has that. Will Brands BKT, we also have Michelin, Trelleborg, uh, Bredestein and Continental tires. Brand colors, we have basically all of them. So Crescetto, Crescetto Italy, Case IH, Kloss, Duisfar, Fent. We have uh, two different Fents. Yeah, lighter and darker green, JCB, John Deere, Kubota, Landini, Massey Ferguson, McCormick, New Holland, Steyr, Valtra, Zader, and then we have a black edition as well. Design colors, uh, there's gonna be full set colors on the sides. Uh, beacon, we have flashing or rotating. Ladder, we have yes and no. I can't remember if that's, yeah, there it is along the back side. Side guards, we have yes and no through there. Rear lighting, we have a couple different designs for rear lighting. We also have rear lights themselves, which can be added. We have names, so we have anywhere from one to zero and then A to Z. Never seen that before, it's pretty cool. PTO at the front, we have yellow detached, which only pops up when you have it attached or black detached. We have air hose, we have the spirals or non-spiral cover. There we go, yes and no. So we do have a cover there. Rear exhaust profile decals. No and no, standard and no, extension no, extension yes, and then back in. Go with that. <laughs> Super branded. Uh, power consumer, we have the power takeoff or none. Um, I, I don't I don't know what this does. I have no idea. Uh, rear splash guard, we have a yes or a no. That comes as yes by standard. Unloaded mechanics, we have a couple different unloading uh, bed types, trailer doors, something like that. Again, I thought maybe this is be where the manure spreader would be, but it's not. Uh, and then we have different license plates that they override the one that you have. Hub colors, you could change this up to match whatever custom color you have. We have a color for the cover, and then we have a rear profile door, rear profile uh, color, you can add that. And then we have the rear exhaust profile color, and then lastly, rim color. So a lot of stuff through here, but I'm very, confuse it. Next is something very neat and maybe very helpful to you. This is the Lizard GC 1500. And here we have two different ones. We have the standards. So this has got a uh, mounted boom. And then this is the adjustable boom in and out, which is very, very neat. So they both weigh about 850 kilograms and require 75 horsepower to run themselves. Now we have wheel brands from Lizard, Midas, BKT, and so on. And then our main colors, we have pretty much Every color you can imagine, a uh, lot of rim colors missing. I'm not sure why modders don't put just every rim color on there. Nonetheless, uh, this hooks up via three point behind your tractor. Then you hook up your trailer behind that and you can utilize this to move around uh, bells, pallets, things like that. Should make your work a little bit easier. Next new one for all platforms, the Upgo Maratona MG300. This is a disc hero for 120 horsepower. -o. Three meters at 11 miles per hour, I'll stop. Uh, roller, we've got a couple different sets of rollers that you can throw on the back. However, those rollers don't do anything at the end of the day. And then we have a couple different colors. I like the faded Alpago look, that's kinda neat. And then we have a lot of different colors for all the little extra sets in there, depending on how you really wanna color this thing. Super cool that we get that option. Next, we have a leveler. This is the Lizard B1890. We've also got a PC only version of this as well. However, we won't be showing that off later in the video, which we'll would be kind of uh, announcing it again. This hooks up via three point hitch, got a three meter working width, which is very cool. Uh, we have all of the above colors, which is great, but we're gonna go nitro blue because that's the only one that matters. And then we're gonna go with pearl aged white and 
Nice little red there at the bottom. Very, very nice mod. And now jumping over to some new placeables. <laughs> I'm almost taken away by just the absolute scale of this thing. So this is a fattening unit. What this does, or the fattening unit rather. This is a cattle pasture at the end of the day. It holds 250 cows. They say calves, but it's... It's not for calves, it's for cattle. Now, uh, it produces liquid manure. Of course it does. They all do, so nothing special about that. Lights are automatically coming on at night. That is special and great to see. Since it can hold 30,000 liters of straw, we will be the judge of that. Let's see at the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, food, 40,000. Wow, that is not enough food for 250 head of cattle. Uh, milk is zero, so it doesn't produce milk. Uh, 30,000 30, liters of straw and 58,000 liters of slurry. Uh, you're going to fill that up pretty quickly. It's probably going to take a day, maybe less than that. Um, they do say no storage for milk or manure. Uh, you need to use extensions for those, so make sure you do that. I believe I have a silo extension. This guy, the liquid silo extension. Yeah, that works. Works really well. So just use that. I can't remember who makes that. It's either Omatana, Missy B, somebody like that. Um, yeah, just use that, and it's great. You don't have to do anything. It just goes in a silo, holds 5 million liters Otherwise, I don't know what else to t say about this. It's got great decoration. It's got little tractor tracks throughout, which are always there, which I think is super duper cool. Can we change the color? Maybe that's something we could take a look at. Uh, cattle, fattening unit, uh, no color options. This is expensive, 300 grand. Oof. I will say though, no matter what you do, this is down. This is a fun one. So this is the wall-mounted pressure washer. Now I could just place that down right here and it's, which just kind of there, isn't it? It's, is that in the ground? Yeah, so it, it, not great. So if you're gonna place down this, I would suggest maybe utilizing a building, for, for example, maybe this one. This is a great looking building, and then we'll jump back at our tool, and then can we place it on the side? Yes, we can. I didn't turn it, but it works. I think you get the idea. Oh, can I use the other one? Hang on. <laughs> I'm invincible! Run, baby, run! Oh no! Hey, give it back! Oh, after you delete the building, it also stays in midair, so if you really want to have some fun and mess with people, you could just delete the building when you're done. That's kind of cool. Next is our old barn. This is going to cost you $15,000, so not too bad. Ooh! <laughs> Be careful with that hanging out. Does that got collision on it? It does. Watch out. Definitely keep your, uh, your vehicles and stuff like that uh, away from that. Man, that is going to cause some some serious bodily harm if you're not careful one thing i'm going to give some props on is the wood and the patina that has been put together for this you've even got an area up top we have a ladder here can i move the ladder yo how uh oh <laughs> uh so glad kbot wasn't on that <coughs> yeah uh let's see maybe that'll do a little better a little bit better I'm really bad at ladders. Something I'm not proud of and didn't even know until just now. Uh, so can you get up here? Yeah, and you can use the ladder. That's kind of cool. Yo, that also means if you download this mod, you've got a free ladder. Oh, <laughs> my ladder. What happens if I delete the building? Oh, they took my ladder. This is an interesting one. It's the New England Shed, and I think this looks great. But it's not in sheds. It is in uh, the build mode with decorations and others. So instead of going to sheds like this, you get a decoration and then others. And then there it is. Probably fit a, a clutch simulations in there. Ah! Let's go ahead and just shut that. Ah! Uh, the <laughs> That's so stupid. A uh, very, very good looking shed. I like that it's got a window in there as well. And, uh, and you're all good. And if you really want to scare people, <laughs> get out of here next we have the silo plates with two of them uh one of them costs you thirty thousand the other cost you forty thousand really the only difference is the version that's uh look a little bit older well costs it a little bit less so at least there's that also we'll say that the silo plate doesn't actually extend all the way 
to the side for some reason with this one, but uh, the other one does. Anyway, nonetheless, uh, they hold 2.8 million liters each, roughly, they say. Obviously, these are not like silos where they have a, an exact number. Nonetheless, very cool that we've got a huge silo plate like this. Take it, cover it up, do whatever you want to. Um, it's kind of unlike anything else we have in the game, making this extremely unique and kind of a must have and your last new one for all platforms today is the christmas decoration pack and well it doesn't look like much during the day at night they have a little bit of a different uh, look how you should say so all of the uh, deer they all pulse at the same time we've got santa sleigh up here multiple different colors uh, as you can see obviously just like turn signals or flashing lights beacons stuff like that uh, in the game uh, they all run I, th I think one of the stars is broken it's on the purple one the purple one's out Maybe it's just to give it a little bit of character. They all probably forgot. You know what? Nonetheless, it's fine. One thing that I will let you know, it is kind of difficult to get these to turn on. So all of the uh, these guys works fine. You just press down on the left stick or whatever it says in your help menu to turn off floodlight. One thing I recommend is trying to find the floodlight inside. So you can kind of see there at the front, I've got that little click. So if I come around towards the back side of this, I actually can't turn it on. But, if I go around towards the front, I can. So, there you go. Jumping over to our updates for all platforms of Galgenberg 2.0 version 2003. Is it really 2.0? Uh, note this update will not require new game saves, so you're good there. Farm number one can be completely used with a hose system. So, manure, water, milk, cheese, and butter. Added water trigger only with the manure system and a new save game. Manure spawn fixed at farm number one cow shed and fixed the roads being black on consoles. Next, we have the Elm Rockchester version 1001. River removed, water channels were added to the roadside, added six grass fields, bug fixes have been made, auger wagons will now take peas, new layout has been adjusted for animals, and these changes do not require a new game save, so that is great. Next up is our 669 Buncher version 1002, minor tweaks, new adjustment or attachment, we have the Mulcher head, tweak the head collisions, and added dual tires, oh, and new color selections, oh yeah. Here is that Mulcher head, two tons, 200 horsepower required, two meters spread twos all around and we have all of the colors including all that hurts my eyes blue i love it and those just kind of hook up to the front of your machine the fiat series 90 from ida mod and cr82's got an update to 1002 redesign the narrow rims for dumble wheels fix the existing tires and add a new tire configs and minor readjustments and touch-ups and the long-awaited update to the new holland 70 series version 1.1 mod support for ic vertex design and guidance steering uh, both those are pc only and it is precision farming dlc ready meaning that the only update for all platforms is precision farming this is a super cool one i was confused about this when it first released the soapbox racer kit now we have the update version 1.1 updated mod description version changed the brand name to lizard for all platforms and added brake visual effect to handle the right side of race car and here is your racer now i've already shown a video of this off when it released on pc but i figured hey while it's here you guys probably want to see this so we have a couple different pieces we've got the racer itself we have the hood the trunk rear fenders left door and right door then left front right front left rear and right rear wheels and that is it and you have to put this together all yourself but it's really not that bad and you can drive it without wheels and it actually drives better without wheels which is just hilarious um and yeah if you're wondering hey that doesn't have an engine what is going on uh it's because i don't know that's why um so let's uh, hook up some parts to this uh we'll come over here and you may say uh well b b wait i'm confused you're not picking that up but there's no hand appearing i know uh for some reason i have to hit uh that button right there i have to make it like heavy lift so i don't actually know how to put the stuff on here if you're on console you don't have a heavy lift on console Am I missing something? <laughs> this seems like a huge oversight. You'd be able to pick these pieces up in real life, but you can't in game for whatever the reason may be. Uh, that kind of tweaks out on top, but you can get it. Uh, this, I assumed it went like that, but as you can see, uh, that ain't it. So I was like, oh, well maybe it goes like this. And kinda. 
it it's, it's very interesting. I, don't know, I just didn't have it around my head good enough. There we go. So it goes like that. Rear fenders. This one should be fairly simple. I believe that kind of goes on like that. Uh, there are some clipping marks as well. So this is clipping. Uh, you can kind of see the orange lines. That's where things are going to be clipping. So you're not going to be able to put anything on there. What buttons am I pushing? <laughs> Anyway, so you can do all that. Jump back in, ba bam got that. And then let's see, what's next? This is the left door. Let's pick this guy up and we'll put it to the side. We'll grab our right door and we'll put it over here to the side, right about there. And then attach and attach and we are good to go. And now we got the wheels. Now, these stupid wheels gave me so much trouble whenever I was trying to put them on just by themselves so i'm actually going to attempt to put them on like this so the first one is the front left wheel and as you can see uh, i almost had it there we go front left wheel got it and now we need that front right wheel so i think i need to actually spin all the way around if you look the white piece that's hanging off goes on the inside so they actually spawn in, I think, backwards, which is kind of awkward. Man, I don't know. <laughs> and then we have the rear wheels, which I know you're probably looking to be driving this thing going, what are you doing? I don't know. We'll kind of back up to it. Doing mods like this definitely is not the easiest thing in the world, but I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> You think it goes one way and then it flips around and goes the other way. And we'll hook up one more, one more again to this rear wheel as it flips. And for some reason, all of the pieces are on the right side. I don't know, man. I don't know. So whatever I just did there, I have no idea. It drives. It drives just fine. Uh, it was, for some reason, on PC. I think it went like 100 and some miles an hour. Now it only goes about 50, uh, and it's got reverse physics. So whenever you, whenever you turn in, instead of flipping to the outside, it pulls inside. Uh, I don't know. It works fine. It's just really interesting. Also, whenever you gun it, it leans forward instead of back. And whenever you go backwards, it's reverse. So uh, just heads up, uh, the, so the monitors, your physics are literally backwards. Just letting you know. Next update is for the Stora Fox 11 version 1.1, .1, correction of failure when starting the Cedar and correction of specifications. Quick update to the Romaco U624 version 1001, rear reflectors improved. Massey Ferguson SD2 from Ada Modding got updated to 1.2, more color configs added, made the tool strappable, and optimized the file. And an update to his Gravity Wagon version 1.1, warning sign configuration, added brake force, file optimized, added many color configurations, added rim color configs and added capacity configs. Very nice update to the Flegel Flatbed Semi-Trailer version 103. Extended support for more bell sizes from the supported mods. Added sounds when attaching and detaching. Added pallet auto-loading. Oh, that's incredible. Remove the dynamic mount attacher and fix the HUD icons. A very interesting mod indeed. The Pickup Trailer version 1.1. Added collisions for the side panels. That's good. Added a license plate. New underwire is now standard. Not underwear. Get out out of here. We got new choices of rear bumper between original and color and completely new axle and draw bar. So big update. We also have an update to the 510 header trailer version 1.2. Changed the flashing pattern on the strobes and added more colors. Cow shed with garage got updated and the only thing here is it changed the name. Our first update to the tree nursery brings a big update. They modified the 3D greenhouse, adjusted the water trigger, fixed an error on the pallets with these straps, modification of store icon, updated the description version. We don't we don't need that in the change log, guys. We, everyone could just stop putting that in there because you had to. Uh, the snow on the plants have been removed, added productions without wood chips, added bought with farmland for the greenhouses, other minor fixes, added spore for AI delivery for greenhouse, great option, added delivery marker for point of sale, added point of sale logo to the map, and added crops 
to the price list. Our second update to the self-marketing mod. This is version 1011. Added market stall for cheese vegetables. Rework the ambient occlusion for better looking buildings. Fix the houses no longer being part of the mission. Uh, this caused problems in multiplayer and fix the lighting issue. Nice update to Fruit Greenhouse version 1.4. They've added potatoes and sugar beets at the community request. Adapted to the current patch. Oh, fair enough. And description adapted to the current update. Again, you don't have to put that in there. We know you did. We do have a couple other updates. First one is the Green Quid Pro version 1.3 added new fill types. Same thing goes for the Green Quid Storage version 1.3 was supposed to be the final update. However, now we have uh, well 1.4. And the exact same change log to Forge Storage. And your last update for all platforms is Fire Siren version 1.4. Siren adjusted to the latest patch. Come on, fix the texture issues. Faulty parts removed and file size reduced. Jumping over to new ones for PC and Mac players. First one is the Lizard Antonius BAT90. This is exactly the same mod as the Lizard BAT90, just with a branded Los Antonios. Secondly, we have Drone Delivery. Now, I'm pretty skeptical about putting mods like this into my uh, mod folder, just because sometimes it does certain things. Uh, it does say at the very bottom, due to the creation of the navigation grid for drones, it will take a few minutes to start a load into a save game, if not on a dedicated server. Uh, they also have uh, some pathfinding right here and has tweakable settings regarding creation of that navigation grid if performance is slow. Again, I just try and be careful with stuff like this loading into my games because I don't want none to happen, but it's probably fine. This is, uh, well, quite a few different things. We can jump in here to screenshots. Basically, it uh, selects a beginning point and an end point. You can see right here we have the Nova W4, and then we have the selecting the pickup point and the selecting delivery point. Delivery type eggs, uh, minimum fill percentage 80, Etc. things through there. So very, very neat. I'm sure somebody probably uh, FSG or someone like that will do a full video showing off drone delivery, but uh, uh, yeah, I just try and be careful with stuff like that. And your last new one for PC and Mac players, Crescetto CMR pack additional features. Uh, this does have required mods. You need lubricating grease and the Crescetto CMR pack. So instead of doing a uh, separate pack, things like that, uh, here you go, we have the additional features. And your last mod today, an update for PC and Mac players on Logic OO version 1.1. Optimization has been improved. That is the same word. And 100 trees have been removed. And that is it. That is all 44 of the mods that released today. Tell me what your favorite one was down in the comments section. If you have any questions, drop those as well. Otherwise, just hope you have an awesome day. Go check out Farm Some News. We dropped that this morning. Not a lot going on, but at least you kind of keep updated. Uh, we'll do another one on Friday for you guys. Otherwise, uh, just hope you have a great day today. Play with some new mods. <sighs> we'll see you later. I'm going to go take a nap.